Well, get excited. We're officially two days out from the start of the World Cup, the most watched sporting event in the entire world. And tonight at 530 on NBC Nightly News, they're taking us to Qatar, where there's fresh World Cup controversy. Just two days before the start of play, there's a beer ban at World Cup stadiums. The ban taking major sponsor Budweiser by surprise. Alcohol is not illegal there, although drinking in public is not allowed. But the country had assured soccer's governing body it wouldn't interfere with sponsorships this move comes on top of years alleged human rights violations in the country still soccer excitement is reaching a fever pitch and NBC News caught up with some Americans in Doha I think the US is going to be a sleeper team you got a young team one of the youngest teams in the tournament they got a multinational appeal I'm excited. You know, I think the world's just been in this pandemic mode and everybody's been so restricted. This is a time finally for everybody's wings to kind of come out and just celebrate together. And this is my first a World Cup experience, so I'm really excited right now, but I'm Team USA all the way. <laughs> Team USA will ahead on nightly news what fans say about the beer ban as Team USA prepares for its first match facing Wales on Monday.